At just 25, actor Eric Holm, best known for his role in Seven Delan, broke his neck after diving into murky water. Bystanders rushed him to Mediclinic Mule Med. Then I had my accident we were doing the production of Phila and we were playing volleyball. The ball went into the water, the field was located right next to the dam, and I didn't really think anything of it at the time. I just jumped in to go fetch the ball. It was really as simple as that. And it turns out it was man-made dam, shallow waters, objects under the water. And uh, yeah, that's, that's pretty much that. Rehab was a long process and painful and tedious. I have a beautiful, beautiful family and my sister basically gave up like three years of her life to assist me in getting back, just getting back to a state where I could function by myself. And it's hard work and it's painful, <laughs> like the whole time. And it takes a lot out of you to just face up to it every day and go, well, you know, I want to see what I can do today. Maybe, maybe today is going to be all right. And I think it has to be insanely rough as well on your family and your friends and the people around you because no one can really help you. They can assist you. They can be there for you. And that's about what they can do. As Eric lay in ICU, his fans and colleagues devastated by the freak accident rallied around him, much to the appreciation of Eric's family. When we first got the message that he had had an accident, it was very unreal to us. But the time in the hospital was terrible. I think we cried more than we ever cried in our lives. And we cried together with Eric and we cried apart. It's just such an overwhelming experience to go through. And I think the main traumatic experience that a mother has is bringing up a child and whenever he gets hurt, you can help him, mostly. Uh, you can hug him or you can give him medicine or whatever, but you can sort of comfort him. Pain is part of his life but he never throws it back to us in any way. And I think that's an amazing thing for him to be and, uh, you yeah, know, I think he is an amazing person. Eric was determined to regain his independence despite his paralysis. Through his involvement with production company Hartywood, he continues to develop and act in major films. I get to be a, a spokesperson for people with disabilities. It's quite an honor actually to be able to do that. And especially school kids have a sort of a tendency to imagine anything that happens to them, they experience so completely and fully. So um, being able to go to them and tell them, you know, even at like 25, something like this happens to you, you can still turn your life around. You can still make something good out of it. I feel being able to do that, that it really makes it worth it somehow. I never thought I was gonna even remotely reach the point of being able to work with the people that I am working with, uh, of being able to do the stuff that I get to do on a daily basis. When I had my accident, I thought, well, you know, this is it. Life is pretty much downhill from here. And as it's turned out, I've done more in the past four years after my accident than probably in the 25 years before that. So it's, uh, it's actually, it's all good. Eric's positive resolve continues to inspire those around him. And if the last four years are an indication, we'll be seeing more of him in decades to come. Hello, doctor.